Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul the truth lies within, and we're going to talk about two days blessings. That is yesterday's three hundred sixty second day, and today's three hundred sixty third day of a holy blessing. So you're going to have two blessings today. May you enjoy these blessings. So let's go ahead with today's, uh, sorry, yesterday's blessing. <music> That is 362nd day of a godly blessing. Here, Godfather says, May you be a world transformer. Now, we generally are busy in transforming our own home, our family members, but God is talking about being a world transformer. How do we do that? We'll explore that over here in a bit. Who does unlimited service with the power of your powerful mind and your good wishes. So, in order to do service of our own family members and our own family, we need a powerful mind and also good wishes but for the world also we have to think in an unlimited manner let's see how do we do that and why is that important we're going to explore that also for world transformation souls who have a powerful subtle stage are needed subtle stage means their thoughts are very refined very powerful very pure not just for themselves but for the whole world those who can transform many souls with their attitude and elevated thoughts so through this meditation we can sit in meditation and we can think about any country any person sitting millions of miles or thousands of miles away and we can still meditate and think about good wishes for them have good wishes good thoughts about them and our vibrations will reach out to them and have a peaceful loving effect on them now why do we need to take care of others generally we think that if my house is okay i don't care about what is happening around me that is their concern, that is their problem. But God says, when there is muck around you, can you also be protected from all that muck? No. So it's better to clean the muck around us also. How do we do that? We cannot, inter we cannot interfere with in every house and tell them what to do. But what we can do is we can sit down, we can have good wishes, we can have good vibrations. We can send them vibrations of thoughts through which they can actually be on the right path and transform their own life. If there's problem in your city, if there's problem in your country, if there's problem in your neighborhood, obviously you'll get affected. So what do we do? We meditate, we pray, we send good vibrations, good wishes so that our neighborhood, our city, our country and countries around us are peaceful so that it will indirectly affect us also. So God then says, those who can transform many souls with their attitude and elevated thoughts. Elevated means pure thoughts. Unlimited powerful service takes place through the power of a powerful mind with good wishes and pure feelings. Now, if you have a powerful mind, then you can send good wishes and good feelings to other souls. But if you are engaged in your own troubles, if you are cribbing and crying and howling in your own life with your own issues, then God says, how can you help other souls out? So there has to be a balance. We'll, we'll explore that also in a bit. So do not have these feelings for just yourself, God says. That my house should be okay, my family should be okay, I don't care about others. No. God says that is not the right attitude. But also transform others with go your good wishes and pure feelings. Obviously, you can't be running around in every nook and corner and helping other people around. And maybe you can give them money, you can give them shelter, but that is not enough. Changing other souls is changing their attitude, changing their feelings, changing their their thoughts about others and changing their thoughts about themselves. That can only happen through the power of pure vibrations and good feelings. So there's a limited way of serving and there's an unlimited way of serving. Limited could be food, shelter, but unlimited is good wishes. There's no money which is charged. You don't need to put fuel to send out good wishes. So God says, do that unlimited help. So do not have these feelings for just yourself, but also transform others with your good wishes and pure feelings. Souls who keep a balance are able to do unlimited service and serve the world. So become a world transformer with the balance of feelings and knowledge. Now, if you have knowledge, you're using that knowledge for your own self, your feelings are limited to yourself and not to others then there's no use it's a limited knowledge then love and yoga balance between love and yoga yoga is not the physical yoga we're talking about yoga means connection between 
either soul and the supreme soul living up there and have love for not just myself my near and dear ones for god and for all the souls in the world who are my brotherly souls so god wants us to think beyond and have a vision beyond ourselves which is selfishness he wants us to become selfless and serve the whole world with the right attitude so now this is the blessing of yesterday now we're going to go ahead with the 363rd day of a godly blessing which is going to be there with you in a couple of minutes with this om shanti